Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we move to the war camp. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not waiting to replenish my my things. You come into Sir Geoffrem's Ge tent to find a less than infused group of men. One calls out, you're not the wrenches we asked for. The soldiers laugh. Sakrin the bear barks back. Your mothers took care of us first. Predictably, all sides begin drawing their weapons because they have the egos the size of a peanut. G Glad you're here, says the, the, the J Sir Joffrey. Although your men could be less of a nuisance if we are to win, f to win the Farking War. Uh, why do you need the sinners of the or what do you need the sinners of the sword to do? Sir Geoffrey stuffs a dried leaf behind his lip and crosses his arms. Well, I know you're here to fight. I know you're here to kill men and get paid well for doing it. But right now, my army needs to be fed, and to get fed, I need someone to go out there and get the food. He goes to one of his maps and points down at it. I need you to visit these farmers and load up their food. They will be expecting you, so there shouldn't be any problems. Consider this an easy day before the battle, yeah? Whew, yeah, I, that's good. The company will move out within the hour. Uh, that is really good. How far? It's not even that far away. Now, I don't expect this to be an easy day. <laughs> uh, our objective right now is to just requisition supplies at wheat fields. Uh, and I will be paid 4000 for it, which is unbelievable. Uh, but the thing is, there might be enemies around and all, all that, so you know how it goes. Let's see what we have over here. The farmhouses are in the distance. Fields of crops seesaw to a crisp wind, rustling like calm ocean waves. Farmhands chop through the fields with scythes, a crew of followers heaving the remains with pitchforks. Donkeys bring up the rear, drawing carts through the rough shod terrain. Let's get what we're here for. You draw in on the food carts. The farmers step aside as Uthuru the Dark God goes forward and throws the tarp off one of the wagons. There's nothing inside. Suddenly an arrow slams against the wagon side with a wooden twang. Actually, that's a thwang. The farmers duck down and run off as well-armed men stream in from both sides. This is an ambush. Ah. Hmm. I don't like this ambush. This is a bad ambush. It's bad, bad ambush. Wow. Wow. So I could go over here, and I will actually, to try and protect the archers. Because that guy has an arbalest. He's a mar master archer. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a bow, which is what you have as an archer, but still. Uh, unfortunately for him, I should say. Um... Okay, Othma, what can you do? 39, 15, let's go 31, let's bring him down, because that guy's going to be a problem. Oof, shot the wrong person. I mean, it's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, what about that guy over there? 45%, two misses. That guy's off into the rushes. That's not the word. Okay, that guy wants to die, uh, and most of them are peasants. There's a mercenary over here. Hmm. I'll shoot that guy. I think we're going to be fine. It, this... That area is a bit of an issue. But uh, generally, we're going to be fine. Fennis is protecting one of our sides, so it's, it's going to be alright. Uh, okay. Doggy dies. Ilias goes up. And uh, bad things will happen to the enemy. Uh, then, if I move you... There's a mercenary over there. Okay. Hmm. So I can move... No. Hmm. I'm gonna move you over there. And then you kill the dog uh, and move up. So, Roderick, this is a blockade. So I'm not sure what I want to do here. I want to kill that guy, though. Um... Do I stay over here, or do I help? I'll, I'll move up. Ooh! Okay, yeah, we're gonna get a dog out here. This guy is a, is a problem. I'm not sure how tough they are gonna be. I imagine they're gonna be relatively tough. 
Um, okay, so that's an issue. Right there. Soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. It's so good. It's just so good. Um, so what do I want to do? I want to have you over here. Uh, and I will keep you right there. And then I'll move you over there. And I can push you this time. Ooh, I can't. Okay, dog time then. Not for the kill, uh, but rather for the uh, distraction. Okay, that's a miss. The chances were 49. That is way too high of a chance. Okay, so you're going to fall back. And we're going to see how things work. So that is the Mar Master Archer right there. The hit chances are atrocious. Uh, we're going to need to... Okay, that's a kill. That's really good. Unfortunately, not on the second one. Good hit. That's a miss again. The chances I didn't see it. Doggy is uh, getting a lot of bites out of... Well, not getting any bites, really, but still trying to. Ooh, a dodge there on a 25% chance to hit that dog. I like that chance. I like those chances. All those guys... These guys are bad, so, you know, it's fine. And they're here. As I had... Pre I didn't predict that. Hmm. Okay, so you die. That guy is scared. That's good news. Uh, uh, I'll move you over here. Get a hit over there. That is very nice. Uh, that guy is just a mercenary. How do I want to do this? Uh, do I just fire on these guys and... Hope that they flee or something? Because yeah, they're coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, we got this. Um, I'm gonna wait back here. What do we got this? Now you... Go over here. Kill that guy. Go over there. And prevent him from living in the future. And that's our archer taking damage, as I had expected. Okay, then you... Don't make the... Unfortunately, don't make that guy afraid. That guy is afraid, and I can rotate with the dog, which is good for the dog's survival. Okay, a few stabs over there. This guy does have some really sweet armor. Uh, 60%. Yeah, that shield worked quite well. Um, how do I want to do this? Do I want to go over there? I sort of do, but I also sort of want to go... I mean, we're good. Okay. And that is just what I like to see. So, that Ar Arbalest is going to be ours. That guy tried to flee, because he's a dummy. This guy dies. Uh, and I want... I can't attack again, so I might as well just take cover. Because that guy is an issue. He has a big... Pillum. Um... 5% chance to hit. That's pretty good. Ooh, 35 over there. I mean, we're getting some overwhelms. Man, that Master Archer is landing the... Ac oh, it's a 14%. I got unlucky. 14% chance to hit on the axe throw. Or axe... No, it's not a throw, but axe hit. Uh, we would have needed a... Um, that's a good thing. That, that missed. We would have needed a hit there because that guy could have been afraid. Uh, that guy tried to push me back because they're trying to get at our archers. As expected, they're missing a lot. Um, okay, that's not that great. Let's bring you over here because I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Finally, that, that's pretty good. Okay, so fall back. And that guy, what's he going to do? He's going to throw a thing at me like a jerk. Uh, did he actually shield wall? What an idiot. Man, he's dumb. Okay, that's good. Uh, how about that guy? Okay, that's not what I wanted. Because this guy's an issue. Hmm. Hi. Yeah. Uh, then you go over there. And don't do much else. We're just going to attack that guy, unfortunately. Oh, actually, not unfortunately at all. Let's just do this, because we can. And then you. That guy's now scared, so we're just going to move away. And then you're going to go after that guy. And uh, that guy's probably going to flee. Uh-huh. I don't want that one to flee. Hey, stop hitting that. That thing 
takes forever to reload. Or repair, rather. Doggy goes after it. Okay, not too bad. It's not too bad. How about that guy? Uh, chances were low. 39, actually. It wasn't They weren't that, that low. Um, hmm. How about... So Green goes in. That guy's not fleeing. What a weirdo. Okay. Clinically cynical moves in. Takes a shot and lands the shot. Um... Okay. Uh, oh, I can go over here. It's a miss. Oof, that's one of those three-headed flails. They hit. They hurt. Okay, uh, how do I want to do this? That guy. You kill that guy. Hmm, we didn't do the killing good enough. Not a problem. Eventually, we'll do it. Let's get the dogs out. Even though they get the experience. They take the experience away. Hmm. That guy also has a three-headed flail. Okay, let, let him flee. Then you. Okay, man. Wow, Brian just keeps missing. Okay, Mad Larkin is too exhausted. That's a dog. Uh, Yeah, I don't think that dog is going to be able to prevent that guy from running away. Uh, That one is running away. That is not great. Let's see what happens. Please kill him. Nope. Okay, that dog is on point, though. You. Son of a gun, you almost killed my dog. Okay, how about that guy? Yep, yeah, that's a hit. That's kind of a surprise, honestly. Okay, that's a hit as well. Okay, two overwhelms. Not too shabby. That is a miss. And those just land because that's just the law of, of the universe. Uh, okay. You really should have killed that guy. Okay, so that's good enough for me to just have somebody over there eventually. Because I... Do you have a dog? Because I want to go after the other guy. Everybody's too exhausted. Finally a hit over there. And he's bleeding. He also dies. Okay, Roderick for once is exhausted. Ooh! Aw. I was going to say that guy finally... Well, the dog is going to bite him, but that's about it. Okay, not, it's not a whole lot of dogs actually pursuing the archer. The archer hasn't fled yet, I don't think. Uh, you're out. Yeah, get it, dog. Let it, let it go. And then you, you also have a dog. Yep. Uh, and then you don't have a dog, but let's move. You do have a dog. Uh, what can I do? Not much. Well, I can put the dog out here and just go. I don't think we're going to hunt them all down, but that doesn't really matter. That was a heck of a hit. That was really rough. Pavel is completely fine with this. No exhaustion whatsoever. I, for, I predict that guy dying. Ooh! That guy did not die. Okay. Elias probably shouldn't have gone there, but we're fine with it. That guy finally died. Let's see. So you're exhausted. Man, Mad Larkin just keeps missing. This guy doesn't... Oh, uh, I think he fled. This guy just does not get hit. Ooh. I tracked him down. He didn't flee. Okay. That's a miss from Sakrin. That guy now did flee, though. Uh, let's get you up there. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything anymore. Neither can you. Neither can you. Neither can you. You can go after people. And no dog has been killed, which is great. Let's send you over there. You're too exhausted. Finally a hit from Ed Larkin. Ooh. Yeah, this guy doesn't know where to flee. He's, uh, he's confused. He could have fled already, but he didn't. I don't I don't know why that happens. And now all the dogs have to move. Oh, that's a bite. 
Okay. Sacrament missed. Archers don't do anything. Uh, I think I skipped the wrong uh, backliner. Oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Either way. It's fine. I think. <laughs> ah, come on. I think he's exhausted now. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. 34%. Yep. Yeah. Just that that just didn't didn't work. Oh look at the dogs. Some of them are um are slow. Oh man. Okay, there's two dogs now. That's good. Finally. And I think now basically nobody else needs to move apart from these two. Just in case. It's a bit of a long shot, but I mean Run them down. I think we made it. I think we made it. The long shot there was uh was justified. Yeah, these these guys they have a lot of uh, melee defense. Otherwise they wouldn't be dodging the dogs as as well as they are. But that guy just absolutely threw his life away because that was an easy flee. But it, as it turns out, it wasn't that easy, was it? Okay. Can you go over there? Yes, you can. Okay. And now, he dies. The dogs might have let him go, and they did, but uh, I didn't. And uh, we got a little bit of equipment, but really the damage to my armor is the biggest problem. There's blood on some of the food, but a little water will rub that right out. Sir Gelfram's men will appreciate your work here. Will they? Will they now? Well, I have a lot. Uh, do I? Should I repair? What do we have over here? We got some interesting helmets. Yeah, but generally speaking, not much else apart from the interesting helmets. Uh, we are repairing some stuff and uh, I mean... The helmets are good. They're definitely good. The equipment is absolutely... I, I mean... Absolutely good good equipment. Not all of it, but most of it. Didn't get the armor, but that doesn't really matter. Let's go. Uh, although, honestly, maybe I want to wait over here and just get some tools if there are any. Let's let's camp. Let's see what happens. Encamped, night, dawn. There it is. And now, what do we... We have some tools. That's brilliant. And uh, also, we may need a little bit of food, but we'll find that out in a little bit. Uh, let's see how much they are paying for my stuff. Uh, it's, it's really very little, unfortunately. But I do need to get rid of uh, the really, really bad equipment. So I, I get rid of it. Uh, I think that's that. Uh, also, shields. Yeah, I don't need that one. The rest might as well hang on to. Uh, okay, so that's good enough. Check the taxidermist because sometimes it's good. Check the armorer. Because that's good as well. If I could get the things that, that uh, decrease decrease the requirements, that'd be fantastic. Hiccups as well. I always have hiccups. That one, I, I never go without. Uh, and everything else is good. Okay. Moving on, then. Yeah, having these tools is important because we are, we are just going through going to go through them with all the, the supplies that I have. And hopefully we'll have time to go back to the city uh, to, you know, get sell the supplies all the things. Sir Geoffram welcomes you into his tent, but seemingly ignores your reports. Instead, he's focused in on his... in and on. He's focused just on his maps and is continuing debates with his lieutenants on tomorrow's battle plans. You decide to turn in and uh, get a good night's rest. Yeah, rest well this night for tomorrow battle waits. That's not how it works. Um... Or maybe it is. I don't know, because it says wait in, in the war camp until your services are called upon. I'm not going to do that, because, uh, well, because it, I'm not going to, um, let's see, so we are throwing away, or we're not throwing away, we're selling, uh, we're selling these, selling that, keeping that, selling that might as well, uh, keep that, keep that, keep that, uh, sell the crossbow, sure, uh, the shields, I'll hang on to them, uh, I got two more of these, which is pretty sweet, I'll go ahead and sell that and that, and then these ones, they're nice shields, but they're basically the same as the other, uh, heater shields so it's not you know they're not any different uh, so sell all this 
getting good money. That's very important. Sell the heater shields. And uh, let's buy some food. What kind of food do we want? We want a, a nice variety of food. Uh, so some smoked ham. It's very expensive, unfortunately. So I'm not buying it. Uh, we don't have bread or ground grains. And while they are kind of expensive, there is a chance that I'll get... Now with this, I mean... There's a chance that I'll get that uh, event where people get very happy because of all the food that we have. So let's hope that that happens. And then over here, no unique equipment. We got a full helm. That's definitely worthwhile. I probably will buy it. I probably will buy it. Let's uh, let's look at our... Wait, no, not training hall. At our weaponsmith. Weapon smith. No unique weapons. Nothing that catches my eye anyway. Two-handed spear over here. Ranged. I like that. I like that. I like that. Is it better than the, the spear? I think it is. Let's go ahead and save the game there. Because I believe I didn't try the Spetum before. Uh, there's also the throwing spear, but that's a different thing. That's a different kind of spear. Um, I believe I didn't try the Spetum. I tried something else. And that's specifically for Phanius. So... My consideration is indeed spear wall. Okay, so this thing the thing with this weapon obviously is that he can only attack once, but he does a lot more damage, so that's good. And of course because he can move early or thing it, it, it works. I like it. I think I think this is a this is a good investment. And uh, in terms of helmets, so right now we are 240, 250, 250, 230 and 300. Okay. Well, I guess we're buying that helmet. I mean, we 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 knew we were buying that helmet. So uh, full helm. Yep, come on in. And also, I saw something over here that I haven't bought recently. It's black paint. Let's try and, uh, and see what happens here. Can be used to paint many common helmets. It's only for the helmets? I thought it was for... For, uh... Yeah, let's just go ahead and paint the helmet. Um, but, uh, I thought it was for... That's, that's good enough. I think we're good. Yeah, I really don't want these guys to have uh, a different weapon. Oh, or a different helmet. Um, I thought it was for armor as well, because I kind of wouldn't mind having, you know, all my armor painted the same and all that. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of difficult for me to tell who is who, who's whom, but it, we, don't, we don't worry about that. Uh, it's it's alright. Uh, let's see. So, I want to look at my happiness. So, happiness isn't as great as it could be, so... Let's pay around. Nobody gets drunk. Some people are euphoric. And I believe that's only five of them that got actually affected by that paying... Uh, by paying that. So let's go back before they call on me. And hopefully they will call on me. Let's save the game there and uh, in camp. And I say save the game because I don't know if this is actually how that works. So um, we are repairing things. This is good news. It says it's tomorrow. So it makes sense that it would be tomorrow, right? Instead of today. I wonder if camping allows for fewer provisions to be consumed. Sir, Geoffram has his men assembled before him. Footmen, archers, reserves, all standing in a stiff wind. The commander looks them up and down. I know what you're thinking. What am I doing fighting for this sorry git? If he's so noble, where is his high horse to stand on? The soldiers laugh, easing some tension. Sir Geoffram continues. Well, ugly sod or not... I like nothing better than a good fight, and that's where I'll be, men. I'll be in there with you, fighting until I can't, fighting until the very end, because that is what a fighter is supposed to do. The soldiers raise their arms and cheer. Their commander turns around, sword raised. Now follow me, and we'll show how's Winterhall what it is to be men. Onwards, brothers. There's a battle to be won. Oh my god, and it's ha happening right now. I didn't realize that it was going to happen right now. Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's it's why why wouldn't it why wouldn't it be fine? Look at that um, hedge knight over there. It's fine. You don't you don't need to be afraid, especially because we have company. <laughs> We're gonna let them die instead of us. Actually, that I might I might very well do that. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Okay, that arbalest needs to die. So what are the plans? We have the central line, and they have the flanks. Uh, the, our allies have the flanks. And in terms of just how they are equipped, that Hedge Knight is basically Sir Geoffrey. Uh, hic my hiccups are for me. So basically, that's the special enemy. Uh, now, they're not going to be very special because I have uh, a bill I have weapons that will stun their face. So they're, they're going to be very upset about life. But the question is, how do I want to deal... How do I want to... Do I want to make a wedge? I think so. Because right now... These guys are going to be a problem. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll let them do their thing. Because in uh, at that moment, there really wasn't much I could do. But now, here, I have a few options. A lot of them have ranged weapons. And I do not like that. I like I like melee weapons. 30% um, chance to hit. That's... Uh, man, that guy is just... Look at that. 43% from this distance. Unbelievable. Of course, it doesn't really matter. Because... Uh, because it's, uh, it's it, it, like, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I think a wedge is probably going to be a good idea. But it is going to depend on what our allies do. Because if they do what they're doing right now, I won't, I won't advance. There's no reason to advance. I mean, there is a reason to advance. Morale is still an issue. Um, but I don't think my morale will break... If they all die. Because we can kill the 28 by ourselves. Right? I'm not wrong in that, am I? <laughs> what a mess. Look at all of them. Oh, and there's their leader. Sir Albrecht. And the end of the episode as well. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead, leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.